catch a tiger by the B. B. And if he hollers, let him go. Any, meeny, miny. That's E. That's E. Easily. Hey, bro. Hmm. Yeah. What's the last time number five? I missed class when we went over it. I don't know. I don't know. But I just seen you put down the answers, though. Oh, no, no. I literally don't know any of the answers to this job. I'm using the any, meeny, miny, mo method. That'd probably be my next resort. It works. Hey, wow. You got the answer to number five? Shh. He said don't talk during the test. I don't think he would get him. I don't know. I'm trying to find an answer on Quizlet, but they don't got this jump. So I'm gonna keep looking and let you know. the answers to these questions are wrong. You okay, Richard? You're not having another episode, right? No, no, no. It's over and done with. All right. The problem is the people who made this test. I mean, here, I'll give you an example. Look at question 13, right? I'm looking. All right. So it says, Harry is a shopkeeper. Uh, every month he spends uh, $2,000 for running the shop. He sells all of the products at 25% more than what he bought them for. Um, how much should he uh, be total sales in a month so that he can earn a profit of $3,000 a month? And the answers are $10,000, $15,000, $20,000, and $25,000. And the answer isn't here because we don't know his liabilities. I mean, what's his overhead? How much is the fucking lease on his fucking building? So isn't it... The 2000 he spends? Right? No, no, no. It's not because it doesn't state explicitly those are his liabilities. I need to see his liabilities explicitly stated. I need it fucking explicitly. There has to be 30 questions in here without explicit information. Damn. That's crazy. What you gonna what you gonna do, man? Well, I'm not gonna answer any of them. I'm gonna complain to the board about this problem. I mean, if I was you, man, I'd just try to eat me my mouth right there, man. It really helps you get through it. I could. Mm -hmm. But this is a matter of principle. I want fucking explicit information. Time's up. Time's up, pencils down. Pencils down. Thank you. Who do I talk to about this? That'd be me. No, about the test itself. It's bullshit. There's no explicit information in it. I'm sure you're right, Richard. I was gonna post y'all grades later online, but it don't look like there's a point in that. I'm gonna just tell y'all now. Y'all fail. Every single last one of y'all. That's impossible. Oh no, it's possible for you. You only answer two questions. Test was bullshit. There's no explicit information. I can understand one person failing, but all of y'all. Percy, you know this material like the palm of your hand. 
You could be teaching this class how you feel. I, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't be teaching this class. I failed y'all. No. Uh -uh. Hey, no. Hey, no. Yeah, you did. It's your fault, nigga. You know what? I, I wish y'all the best of luck or whatever y'all do with y'all future. Nah, nah, Mr. Lean. I'm the fucking loser here, man. All right, I'm a grown ass man and I can't even pass my JEDs. You mean GED? You see what I'm talking about? Who you telling? I just wanted to show my family I could do it. They've been saying I ain't shit for so long. Just wanted to prove them wrong. But Quizlet want to conspire against me. It ain't right. Anyone else want to share? Why y'all here? Why y'all want y'all GEDs? Well, guess there's no chance to be an astronaut now. That's your aspiration? Mm-hmm. I always wanted to work for NASA. I thought, get your GED, maybe NASA cuts you a break. How many times you take the test? Oh, Jesus. A lot of times. And every time they lacked explicit information. Okay, all right, all right. Anyone else wanna share? I, for one, need to be in spaces like this. Uh, it allows me to be my true, authentic self. Naughty, naughty boy. Okay, all right. Let's not get off track. So that's why y'all didn't try on the test. To be honest, I got big goals too. I don't even care about passion. I just fuck with y'all heavy. So what about you, Mr. Lean? Why are you working night school instead of following your dreams? That's a good question. Honestly, it was just another job. Recession hit, bills needed to be paid. I just needed money. And honestly, it's still just another job, but I feel like I found a tribe here. Especially after hearing what y'all share what y'all share. I feel like everybody's trying to make something of themselves. I just feel a lot less lonely. So we running the class back another term or what? Yeah. 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 And you teaching, right? Yeah, most definitely. I'm not giving up just yet. I want to be the reason y'all fulfill y'all wildest dreams. Except Percy. We don't want that nigga to achieve his wildest dreams. <laughs> that is true. All right, class. New term starts in two weeks. I'll see y'all here, same time. Get these JDs! Yeah! Back and forth in the field like I play the bases. My batting average match the return on the stocks I'm trading. That's near to one. My nigga admit it, I'm near to none. Said it needed someone lit from Virginia. Where here they come. Jason Lee, fuck your standards. I'm right where I need to be. Everybody wants success. What the fuck do it mean to me? Yeah, I mean, I want rings, rich and millies, imported things too. If that was all I'd get it, and then I could leave the league. But I'd rather leave the league. LeBron, Hakeem, Kareem, the league. To be the next MC to show these kids where they can dream to reach. My niggas don't got NBAs, but carry great ATHC. Bonding over flipping birds like Twiddle Dumb and Twiddle D. Leaving me to lock myself in rooms and block the planet out my view just like the moon when it eclipse. When the wind chains and the waves they've been riding, kids did a ship. And this shit turned out the way that I planned it. Bitch, don't go blame it on talent. Blame it on my parents coming to the States from Sudan. Working double.